Okay, hey guys. Oh, and I think uh, I think Emil's in today. Hi, Emil. So today's lesson is actually designed by Morgan. We had a um, a design a taekwondo time class. Morgan design um, competition, and he won. So we're going to be doing his workout today. I'm a little bit scared. I don't know why I chose such a difficult one. All right. So I'll warm up today. Um, I've changed it slightly because Morgan was going to have the opposite game. We are going to play the opposite game. But instead of having red and blue, because we might not have things to touch, we're going to do right and left. So if I say right, I'll go to my left. And if I say left, I'll go to my right. I'm going to be terrible at this because you guys know I'm always mixing up my right and left. And we'll do that for about a minute and then we're going to add different things in there. So whatever I ask you to do, do the opposite. Yeah, Make sure you've got a little bit of room so you're not going to bash into your brothers and sisters or your pets or furniture. And uh, we will start in 10 seconds. So remember, right is left, left is right. Oh, and I think Ralph's in today, hey Ralph? So just do the opposite. Three, two, one. Right. And back to the middle. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. for you guys as well. Uh, right. Left. 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 Right. Right. Right, left. Left, right. <laughs> right. Maybe there. star jump okay but we still have left and right everything's backwards all right three two one left right up remember up is down down up down left right right down down left. Oh, I'm getting confused. <laughs> uh, left up left. Right. Down. Down. Up. Left right. So we've still got left is right, right is left, up is down, down is uh, up. Uh, we're going to have kick and punch. So if I say punch, do a kick. And if I say kick, do two punches. All right. Oh, I'm already confused. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one. Left. Right. Kick. Punch. Up. Down. Punch down. <laughs> Up, left, right. Punch. Punch. Kick. Punch, kick. Kick, punch. Kick left. Punch right. I think I made a mistake. Who, who cares? Uh, up. <laughs> Down. Down, up, left. Kick. Excellent. Well done, guys. So we're going to take a little break. So if you need water, have a quick drink of water. And then we have 15 rounds ahead of us. 
We can handle it though, we did 60 the other day. These are long rounds though. So 40 seconds before we start our first round. Uh, round one is going to be push up and then a sit up with two punches. So push up, sit up with two punches. If you want to make it easier, do the push ups on your knees. Yeah, and we're going to keep that going for a full minute. So these minute rounds, they're quite long, it's going to need a bit of perseverance. Don't give up, yeah? If you need to pause, pausing's fine, get some water, rest, just don't give up, yeah? All right, starting in 10 seconds. So push up, sit up, and the sit ups have got punches. Yeah, nice big twist at the top of your sit up. All right, three, two, one, off we go. So push up, roll it over. kinds of push-ups as well. You can do knees down, knees up, elbows out, elbows back. You can do scorpion push-ups. You can do your diamond push-ups. of the people who've got good push-ups. All right, up we get, 20 seconds rest. Round two from an L stance. So, 70, 30, we do a front snap kick, a turning kick, and then we're gonna change stance into a new L stance, yeah? All right, starting with three, two, one, off we go. So a snap kick, pivot, turning kick, change stance. Front snap kick, Pivot, turning kick, change stance. Put a nice amount of power in that garden block for me. And remember to form your feet. So strong feet for kicking, no floppy toes. Who's looking good? Holly is, Holly's got nice technique. Don't neglect the cell stance. Make sure you are getting the weight back here. Sometimes when people come to do gradings, they forget we're watching the things in between the kicks and not just the kicks themselves. Front snap kick, twist, turning kick, and relax. All right, round three, shadow sparring. Easy peasy. All right, uh, work is hard or as relaxed as you like. Get loads of combinations in there. Don't just throw a punch by itself. Everything in clusters. All right. Three, two, one, hands up. So lots of options. Any kicks you know, little flurries of punches in between. Maybe a Superman. Oh, Chen Ren is going fast. Is Morgan going fast? Yes, he is. He better be. It's his workout. <laughs> Maybe there, guys. Keep working. Go on, Nancy. A few more punches. I think she's frozen. Ten seconds. Well done if you were working hard there. Uh, round four, uh, shoulder taps. Oh, for a whole minute, Morgan. Morgan's mean. <laughs> All right, so we'll be in the plank position, tapping our shoulders. So, aim for 60, one every second. Some of you might get 122 every second. Off we go. Counting is a good way to distract yourself when you get tired. Or 
or drink theory is a good way to distract yourself. So we'll go through the number of moves in the patterns. So Tron G has got 19 moves. If you know these, by the way, say them before I do. Dan Gun's got 21. Do San has 24. Wanyo has 28. Yulbok has 38. Jungun has 32. Tege has 37. Huarang has 29. Chungu has 30. Go to the black belt patterns if I can remember them. So Kwangye has 39 moves. That's a big one. Um, Gaybeck, even bigger, 44. Poan, 36. And time, well done. Get back up if the knees didn't go down. You did a brilliant job. Um, walking stand, straight fingertip thrust. So elbows in, hands out. One hand blocks down. The other one thrusts forward into big walking stance, please. Yeah, no little walking stances. Two, one, off we go. So, good walking stance. It's long, front leg bent, back leg straight. So even if you don't know the technique with the hands, you can maybe just swap it to a walking stance punch and still focus on that good walking stance. Make sure that back heel's on the floor. We don't finish like this, it's gonna to be touching. 30 seconds. It was looking good. Chen Ren is excellent. This is in your new pattern, Chen Ren, so it's a good one for you to practice. Well done, I think that's Tanida looking strong. Well done, Tanida. Yes. Remember, everything relaxes and goes fast at the last second. Oh no, I've just seen what's next. <laughs> last few, please. All right. Next one, quick sip of water, you're gonna need it. Oh, oh I just got 10,000 steps. Awesome. <laughs> right, um, the next one. So you can either, there's a couple of ways you can do this. We're supposed to be doing tuck jumps and uh, a lunge with two twists. Um, so you can either do 30 seconds of tuck jumps and then 30 seconds of lunges, yeah? Or you can start on the tuck jumps and when you can't do any more, just get started on the lunges because tuck jumps are evil. We've decided that Morgan is very mean giving us tuck jumps. Um, or another thing you could do is you can maybe do one tuck jump, lunge, lunge, tuck jump, lunge, lunge. So you're still doing a little bit of both. I might do that one. And if you can't tuck jump at all, then maybe you've got bad knees, bad ankles, bad hips, uh, you might want to change that to a different exercise altogether, yeah? So no tuck jumping unless you feel safe. All right, everyone else, we're gonna do this. Starting in 10 seconds. I think I'm gonna go tuck, jump, lunge, lunge. I think that's my strategy. Some of you might wanna do like a number and then a different one. Two, one, off we go. Whee! <laughs> lunge with twists. And the other side. Whee! Ooh. Whee! And we have more legs coming up after this. <laughs> Morgan obviously likes doing leg work. He's like me. <laughs> Stick burpees and everything. <sighs> Has anyone just got, oh, Caden's going for loads of the uh, tuck jumps. So is Chen Ren, amazing. You crazy people. 20 seconds. I'm watching Morgan, I want to see his tuck jump. Evil Morgan. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. Twist, twist. Other side. Awesome. All right, if your legs aren't tired, they're going to be tired on this next one. Burpee with a jumping front snap kick. Oh my goodness, what are you doing to us? Uh, so burpee down. When you come up, fire out that jumping front snap kick. If you don't want to jump, don't jump. Just stand, do a regular front snap kick. Pull those toes back. Hands up, all right, uh, off we go. Burpee, and jump snap kick. Oh Morgan, this is gonna hurt so badly. <laughs> but 
that's good, it'll make me stronger. Oh, we're past halfway. Oh, my jumps are getting smaller. Who's still jumping high? Amazing! <laughs> Laid laws were looking very good there, well done. but you get a bit of a choice on this one. We're going to be doing downward kicks. Now Morgan didn't say if these were L stance, walking stance, like sparring. So you can do your downward kicks however you want. I'm going to do the more sparring style. Okay? Two, one, off we go. So if you're doing these uh, sparring style, you might want to point the foot so you get more reach. If you're doing technically, pull that foot all the way back, hard feet. Selfie good height from you guys. Go on a meal. Yes. Nancy, that look was great. Very high. Well done, Ralph. Think about where your hands are. Yes. They don't have to be perfect. Don't have to be glued here all the time. But we don't want them down here. Unless our opponent's miles away. <laughs> Last one, make it a big one. Whee! All right. And should we have a quick break? We'll have a quick sip of water. Okay. We've got switch kicks. All right, awesome. So, switch kick, two punches. Switch kick, two punches. If you don't want to jump from one kick to the other, just slow it down. Do a kick off one leg, do a kick off the other leg, yeah? Everyone else, let's start the second kick before the first kicks hit the floor again. All right, switch kick, two punches. Starting in 10 seconds. If you're feeling good, get a little bounce going. Don't stand still if you don't need to. All right, off we go. Switch kick, two punches. to make our opponent block this one when the other kick's actually coming around. So keep moving around different targets. Now some of you wee bouncy people might be able to get that second kick high but make sure it's safe to do so. Don't do it if you're gonna fall on a hard floor. Last 10 seconds. Love it, guys. Hands up when you punch, remember? Hands up your hands, yes. All right, oh, my favorite gorilla punches. I don't think I've done this for a full minute before, but great, all right. Squat yourself down. Let's get those arms tired. So you can pick two or four. I'm just going to do two. So three, two, one, two punches, and gorilla across. So we never fully stand up. It's almost like a little, a miniature squat jump, I suppose. We're staying very low. Make sure you punch forward though, don't punch to the ground. And put your hands flat, you don't have to do what I'm doing. So oh, look, what's next? I think we've got more legs. <laughs> awesome. Twenty seconds. Oh, this one's starting to hurt. Let's burn those quads out. Five 
seconds. Oh, oh my goodness. I think we've got more lunges coming. What have we got? Lunge and two punches. Follows that other one quite nicely. Okay, so when you're at the bottom of your lunge, and your knee's nearly touching the floor, throw two punches, come back up, do the same on the other leg. Ooh. All right, hands up. Lunge down, two punches at the bottom. So that knee almost touches the floor. We're not resting down there. Yes. If I turn sideways, uh, be careful not to be doing this and thinking you're really low. Keep your body up and bend that knee. Okay. Make sure you're taking a nice big step. You can't do lunges properly if you're too close together. You're all looking good. Yes, keep the hands up. Well done. One well, number this is 11. We've got four more after this. And then it's stretching time. Oh wow, okay. Back into L stand, so nice technical work now. We're gonna do a hook and kick and a turn and kick without putting the leg down. So kick backwards, kick to the corner, change legs. Hook, kick, turn and kick. All right, here we go. Go. Hook, kick, then to the corner, boom. Switch legs. Hook, kick to the front, out to the corner and switch. That's the tricky bit because we could just go boom, boom, but our turning kick shouldn't finish here for line work. It should finish over here. So pull that hip backwards, boom. A little bit of power in your garden block, guys. 20 seconds. stance really exaggerate when you're practicing go beyond 70% so when you come to do what we're grading and you get nervous and you come out of it a little bit it should still be correct okay number 13 superman punches yes <laughs> so for the superman punch we hop so if my right left leg's in front my left leg is in front when I land and then I step forward so I go hop then step all right, so hop, step, step, come back. My left leg's in front, it's still in front, and then I land, yeah? Try and get the feet correct. When you're happy with the feet, then bring in the hands. Now Superman, you can do it with two punches, or you can do it with just the one. I like two, you kind of aim with the first one. Nearly there guys, very important when you land, you land with your hands up, because we're moving into punching range. When we're at kicking range, we can be a bit more relaxed. Punching range, these hands have to come up. Yes, where's my towel, there it is. Okay, what we got going on? Uh, ooh, lifts and shifts. Okay, so easiest one is just to lift up, do a little hop. Finger up, do a little hop. If you want to add the kick in, please add the kick in. If you want to make it two or three kicks, make it two or three kicks, let's go. So for a lift and shift, your front leg moves first. This leg doesn't do anything until this one's off the floor. Then it pushes. struggle you can take a small step yeah a little tiny step and then do the same thing do not let your feet come together now if you're kicking the 
and turny kick, the one I'm doing at the minute, probably the easiest one. If you make it a side kick, a little bit harder. You can also hook kick. Yeah, most of your kicks work as a shift, you can downward kick. Yeah, excellent, all right. It's the last one, okay. We've got tiger push-ups and we've got mountain climbers. So tiger push-ups are in the high plank. We lower ourselves down to the low plank, we come back up and we're gonna keep that going for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do mountain climbs for 30 seconds. Here's our last one, so let's give it everything. Off we go, so tigers. Down, down, up, up. Let's practice some theory. High, middle and low. So high, napunde, middle, kayunde, low, Jundi, middle, Kayundi, high, Napundi, middle, Kayundi, low, Najundi. All right, mountain climbers, off we go. And a do, set, then, does it, yes, it, you, yeah, up, up, you, and a do, then, does it, yes, it, you, up, you, and a do, set, then, does it, you, up, you, and a do, set. Oh, <laughs> we did it guys. Well done. Get your towel if you need it. <laughs> Get some water if you need it. And then we have stretchy time. Whew. Morgan's mean, means I'll be a good coach. <laughs> All right, what was my favorite? Hmm. Do you know what, after all the fuss I made, I quite like doing the tuck jumps into the lunges and then straight into burpees with front snap kicks. It hurt, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it means my legs get stronger and stronger. Right, we're gonna start stretching in about 15 seconds. I'm gonna start with quads. All right, so I'll give you two options. You can either stand, Knees together, pushing your foot back into your hand behind you. Or we can do the kneeling down one, where again we get into the same position, but we're kneeling and we're pushing the hips forward. So let's go. So whichever one you've chosen, stick with that. Oh, I hate this stretch. <laughs> but again, that means it's working. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So another 15 seconds. Yeah. Come on, Shalida, let's see you stretching. Well done. If you've got a hard floor, you probably want to do the standing one. This one's a bit mean if you're on wood. Let's swap to the other side. Straight in there. No rest. B. And our next one is going to be the forward fold. So you can do this sitting down and reaching for your feet, or you can do it standing up. And just see how much you can fold over those legs. Um, try and keep your legs pretty much straight. You can have a tiny bend, but, but don't go crazy, yeah? T the tiniest little bend is okay. After that, no, not okay. All right, forward fold. Excellent, come out of that one and we're going to do the deltoids, so shoulders. So take one arm, bring it across your body. So my right hand's reaching to the left and I'm just going to press in gently. Try and open up around the back of the shoulders. And you'll notice I'm not pressing on my elbow, I'm pressing slightly higher up on the tricep muscle. Ten more seconds. One, and let's do the other side. So arm swings across, pull it in. Well done, guys. Looking good. And we've got triceps next. Push should be good after those push-ups and all those punches. Ten more seconds. Well done, last 
last five. So when you're doing your triceps, we're going to take one arm, we're going to reach down our back like we're trying to scratch between our shoulder blades, reach over, take hold of that elbow, and gently pull on that elbow so the hand goes lower down the back. Uh, don't go crazy, don't pull too hard, just so you can feel it stretching on the muscle on the back of the arm. 15 seconds. Excuse me, need to yawn. <laughs> the last five, then get ready to change arms. All right, so now the other arm goes between the shoulder blades, elbow pointing to the ceiling. Grab, nice pull. Ooh. 